this video, I'm going to show you how to set up signatures in Microsoft Outlook. These are signatures that you can use over and over. Whenever you're composing a message, you can just click a couple buttons and you'll have your name at the bottom of your message, along with any contact information or other information you want to share. And we're going to look at how to do this in the current version of Outlook and also in the new upcoming version of Outlook. Let's get started. So here I am in Outlook, and to set up my signatures, all I need to do is go to File and Select Options here at the left. And I get a whole bunch of options that open up here, but I'm just gonna go to Mail, and I'm just gonna look for this option here, Create or Modify Signatures for Messages. And I'll click Signatures, and I get a dialog box that opens up, and it will show any of your current signatures that you have set up. In my case, I don't have any with this account. So I'm gonna click New. It wants a name for this signature. I'm just gonna call this Standard. Click OK. And with Standard selected, I'm gonna go down here to this box and I'll just put in a name, tap Enter, put in an email address and a phone number. If I wanted to, I could also add other information, for example, job title. And of course, this contact information is not real. I've just made it up. So don't think about contacting me that way. I could also use these tools to format the text of my signature. So maybe I could bold certain parts of it, italicize or underline, and I can use color. If I really want to, I can center my signature. I think I'll leave it at the left. If you've set up a business card, you can also insert that along with your signature. So I'm happy with this signature that I've set up, and I could click Save, but before I do, I'm gonna go down here and choose Default Signature. Whenever I compose a new message in Outlook, what do I want the default signature to be? And I'd like it to be Standard. Now what about when I'm replying to or forwarding a message? Maybe I want it to be something different. So in that case, I could set up a new signature and call it replies and forwards or call it something else. And then I could select it so that a different signature shows up when I'm just replying or forwarding. So I'm going to click save and okay. And I can close the Outlook options by clicking okay. So now let me compose a new email. And as soon as I open up the new message, notice that my signature has appeared. Now the reason it automatically appeared in my message is because I set it up to be the default signature. So I don't even have to do anything. It just appears at the bottom of my message. I'm gonna X out of that and I'm not gonna save the changes. And I'm gonna jump back in to File, Options, Mail, and Signatures, just to show you that if I took that off as the default signature, click OK, click OK. Now when I compose a new message, there is no signature, but I could type my message, and then when I'm ready to send the message, I could click Insert Signature Standard. So I want you to see both options, to have it set as the default signature or not. There are advantages to both. If you have multiple signatures that you want to use depending on the audience or some other reason, then you may not want to set up a default signature. You might want to just choose Insert Signature and select the right one depending on the circumstances. I'm going to X out of my message and jump back in to the File Options because I want you to see that in addition to setting up your signatures manually, like what I showed earlier, it is possible to get signature templates. When you click there, it takes you to a page that talks about signatures from templates, and you can go here to download the email signature gallery. You can download that, open it up in Microsoft Word. Now, if you get a message at the top asking you to click a button in order to edit the document, go ahead and do that, and then just browse down through these various templates, look for one that you like. When you find one that you like, just click and drag to highlight the entire signature, including the picture. Hold Control and tap C to copy, or you could use other methods to copy, and then switch back into Outlook. Now, here in Outlook, you would think I would go to the signatures to set up this signature, but instead, I'm just gonna compose a new email and I'll paste in this signature from the list of templates. And now, I can right-click on the image and I could choose Change Picture from this device and I could select an image of myself to put in there. In this case, I'm just gonna go to Change Picture from Stock Images and I'll select an image, click Insert, and so now I've swapped out the default image with a new one. 
and then I would just proceed to change the name, change the position, and all of the other information. I can even change the hyperlink down here. Now, if you do change the hyperlink, you need to also go up here after selecting it and change what the link actually goes to. It's not enough just to change the text of the hyperlink. Now, what about these social media buttons? If I click on, let's say, the Twitter icon, I can then go up here to the hyperlink button and put in the specific URL for my Twitter account. Okay, once I'm done customizing this signature, all I have to do is click and drag to highlight it, copy it, and now I'm gonna go back to the main Outlook window and I'll click on File, Options, Mail, Signatures, and I'll set up a new signature. I'll call this With Social Media, click OK. Now I select with social media and I'll click here to edit the signature and I'll paste in my customized template. I click save. Now before I click OK, that new messages have been set up to have with social media as the default signature. And I don't think I want that. I think I want none. I'll just click OK, click OK. And now when I compose a new email message, there is no default signature, but I can go along and create my message. And then when it's time to end the message, I can go here to insert signature and I can decide, do I want to just have my standard signature or do I want to include the social media, the image, the links, all of the information that I've set up. So I've shown you now how to set up and edit custom signatures in Microsoft Outlook. But that's the current Outlook. In a few months or weeks even, Microsoft is going to be switching to the new Outlook. So I'm going to turn on a preview of the new Outlook and just give you a glimpse of how you can do the same thing in the new Outlook. To set up signatures in your new Outlook, you don't need to go here to File. In fact, I don't see a File option. Instead, go here to the upper right where there's Settings. This gear symbol represents Settings. And I'll click on that. It opens up. And then with Accounts selected, notice that there's an option for Signatures. Now because I set up two signatures in my current version of Outlook, notice that both of them have been imported into the new version of Outlook. Having said that, it doesn't look like they imported perfectly. And so I may need to adjust some of that information get rid of extra spaces and things like that. But I'm just gonna set up a new signature, give it a name. I'll call this just the basics. I could format it using the tools here. I can also add an image simply by clicking this button and choosing an image and that image will be added to the signature. If I want to, I can set the defaults and click Save. Now I can close out of the signatures options and I'm back in the new version of Outlook. When I click to create a new email, I can insert signature and choose the specific one that I want. So in this video, I've shown you how to use both the current version of Microsoft Outlook and also the upcoming new version of Outlook to create signatures, set up different signatures with different information, including images and links, and how to edit them and use them in your messages. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, please click the thanks button below the video. Also, you can support me through my Patreon account and by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video.